Wow, so cool. A lot of new keywords here. Let's order by volume and check the conversion rates of each keyword. Damn, this one has over 10% already. <gasps> Nani? <laughs> over 23%. Holy mother of keywords. This is amazing. Why are you so excited? Didn't you do the same task the last three weeks already? It feels like you are repeating yourself. Yeah, actually I get new data every week and it requires to analyze them every week at least once to filter the converting and non-converting keywords. Why is he because talking so don't much? don't want to spend too much Does money on end? keywords which are not converting and save some money, right? Interesting and... How much time does this process take you? Uh, roughly 15 minutes per report and we have about 50 products with each a campaign so okay approximately 50 reports yeah maybe more or less but 50 yeah that's a lot for a single person I mean how long have you been doing that um, since we already have August it means six six months I've been doing this for six months already. <laughs> Why are you asking? Okay, given 15 minutes for one report means 15 times 50 report mm -hmm. equals 750 minutes, which is the same like 12 and a half hours a week. And if you multiply this with the amount of days of six months times four weeks, which equals 24, you get 300 hours divided by 24 results. And Dude, that's 12 and a half hours per week. So are you telling me? You have been doing the same thing over and over again for the last six months, which took you 12 and a half hours per week. Yeah, exactly. You're quick in math, man. I mean, if you want to achieve something, you need to do what needs to be done, right? Hard work beats talent. It's common sense. Wait. I mean, just go on Instagram. Everybody says this. Damn. Yeah, I totally agree, but I think you shouldn't work hard only, but also focus on working smart. I got an idea. <laughs> Lucky you, I'm a coder. Let's write a small script which automates the whole process for you. And it could save time. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah, but I can't code. How should I do this? Should I learn how to code or what? Well, you don't need to be a high level programmer now because we have an advantage, which is that we exactly know what we want to do. We have this problem which we want to fix and we just need to build the solution now. So let's let's do it man. so much time imagine what I could do with all this free time now <laughs> oh my god Sugoi <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to the eighth episode of the weekly ginger tea I hope you've been doing great and drank some ginger tea even without me and enjoyed this episode but what's the message here what I wanted to say is that I think the easiest way to learn programming is to have a reasonable purpose why you want to create something. Based on that fact, you can break your whole task down into smaller tasks, making you realize where you actually have to start. And you can assume that this kind of approach works on anything you do in your life. For all of those who don't know, I'm running a side hustle with my friends in the field of e-commerce and almost after three and a half years, I realized that there are many, many repetitive tasks which can be automated. So in this example, I automated the process of analyzing and adapting the advertising campaigns of our products, which seriously took a lot of time every week. So with the awareness of the 
actual problem or issue in this case that I wanted to save time automating a repetitive task which we have been doing like a thousand times already I absolutely knew what to do and that's what helped me the most in my whole career as a developer if you have a purpose you know what you want to do and don't fall into the trap of chasing shiny objects and developing anything just because you can I mean, it's nothing bad if you do that, because many people develop and program as a hobby. But if you really want to build life-changing software, you need to have a real reason why you code, right? Besides the fact that I'm becoming a professional digital gold digger in my corporate job, which helps me leveling up my web scraping and cloud programming skills, I took the opportunity automating many tasks my friends have to do every week and build an automation tool out of that. Which leads us to the next topic I actually wanted to talk about today. Sell your byproducts. A byproduct is a secondary product which has been created unintentionally on purpose while building your actual product. Does it make sense? So we could break it down to features of creating a web app for example. Let's say you want to create a really cool responsive web page or a PWA, a progressive web application. While you create that page, you come up with a lot of layout components which can be reused on multiple pages. And suddenly you realize you created so many components that you could summarize all of them into a library or something saying is your new layout framework which could sell for five dollars wouldn't that be cool and let's take it a step further and break it down on the mindset while you learn how to program your way of thinking actually changes a lot and i think we become kind of like robots thinking in a much more logical way which helps us to process daily tasks in a more efficient way in the beginning, you won't notice that so much, but with time, your level of self-awareness will grow and you suddenly realize how different you suddenly think. All right, all right, that's enough. <laughs> I hope you get the message here and I would love to hear what you use your programming skills for and what kind of impact it has in your life or business. And for all of you who are still watching, I wanted to thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and tell you something cool, which is that Dwayne Crates, Man and & Code and me are working on the new Definitely Healthy community page and we will be launching it in September. I'm not sure when we can do it, maybe in, this, in the mid or at the end of September, but it will have a lot of new cool features like a book list and tools which really helped us to grow or improve our productivity. So stay tuned and stay definitely healthy. Drink some ginger tea and yeah, see you next time. Peace. Thanks for watching.